Hey everyone, so today, today's video is going to be a tutorial using uh, MAC eyeshadows and um, if you want to see how I achieved this then stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. I've already put on all my face products, lip products, everything except for the eyes. So we're going to start off with MAC Paintly Paint Pot. Um, I do have some colored bases that I would prefer to use, but um, I like to use, if I'm doing a tutorial, I try to use all products that you can buy at the store because so many times I've watched tutorials and then somebody will say, oh, and this was limited edition or this isn't available anymore, but you can substitute with whatever you have. Well, sometimes there is no substitution. <laughs> I, if I'm watching a tutorial, I want to be able to use all the products that you're showing in the tutorial. So, um, all these eye things that I'm going to show you are um, things that you can just go by at the store right now. So, we're going to start priming our eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. All my colored, all my uh, blue colored bases are limited edition, unfortunately, or discontinued. So good old painterly will will work. So we're just going to blend that all over the eye. Oh yeah, and somebody had requested um they wanted to see what I looked like when I was a teenager. So I dug out a couple of pictures, um, and I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Keep in mind, these pictures were taken 33 years ago, so <laughs> a lot can happen in 33 years. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't think I really look that much different. I've run into people, like at stores and stuff, that I went to school with, and they're like, Oh my God, you look exactly like you did in school. <laughs> Ah, uh, and I and I look at them and go, I'm sorry, and who are you? <laughs> because most people do change a lot over the years, but I don't think I've changed that much. Okay, so we've primed our eyes with Paintily Paint Pot, and we're going to work out a palette number two today. And we're going to use, um, well... I like, I like to use, sometimes I like to use a light pink or a light peach as a highlight. I think it's pretty. I don't recall ever seeing anyone do that, but I think it's pretty. So what I'm going to use is this one right here, which is Jest, which is a very light peach color. So I'm going to put that on my MAC 224 brush and just sweep it right underneath my brow. I don't know, to me it makes sense to use this because um, it just kind of blends in with my skin. Sometimes if I use white or beige, it's like too much and it stands out too much. So this is gonna blend in a little bit better, but yet you'll still get a, a lightening effect. So try your light pinks and light peaches if you have fair skin. And then I'm just going to blend it down just a little bit. So I concentrated it right on the brow bone, but then brought it, the color down just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush, and we're going to use Tilt. And the reason why I have Tilt and Deep Truth right next to each other in this palette is because I really like these two together, so I, I keep them together. They're a team. <laughs> so take your... Uh, I'm sorry, not the 217. Um, the the flat shader brush. Um, 
the numbers are off this. I forget what it what number it is. But you know you know the one I mean. <laughs> so whatever you have for a flat shader brush and take some tilt. And then we're just gonna pat that onto our eyelid. Boy, with the blue eyes and the, the pink lips, I feel like Lana Indiana. Hi, Lana! <laughs> she, now, Lana, Lana watches my videos and she's probably thinking to herself, but I don't wear pink lipstick all the time anymore. I switched. That's right. But this is the Lana that I remember that always wore the blue eye shadow and the pink lips. If you don't subscribe to her, you guys, you should. What a, what a wonderful lady she is. And beautiful. Beautiful, lovely lady, inside and out. This is such a pretty color, this tilt. It almost has like a, a hint of something else in it. Maybe almost like a, I don't know. It, it, to me it almost has like a duochrome, but I can't quite place what that other color is. So I'm just going to keep packing this on until I don't see any blank spots. Sometimes with these kind of colors. You can get that when you're working with these nice, pretty, light colors. Okay, now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm just going to kind of work that into the crease a little bit. Just a little bit. So that I can make sure that I get the color up high enough. Okay. All right. Now, um, the first brush that I used, the uh, 224, all I had on it was a light peach color. So I'm just swirling that across a paper towel right now because it really a color that, that that's that neutral isn't really going to absorb into your brush. So I'm just going to grab this brush again. And now we're going to go into Deep Truth. Now this is a very, very dark pigmented color that deserves respect. <laughs> so you got to be careful how much you use. So um, just, just kind of like tap it into your brush like that. Don't sweep it. Just tap it. And then you're going to tap it on the inner corner. I mean, I'm sorry, outer corner. Right here. Just tap it. Okay. Then bring it across a little. Okay, so you only need a tiny little bit of this. Just blend it. And then the same thing on the other eye. Just kind of tap it in that outer corner. Then sweep it across. Okay, now, 
Looks like I have a little bit more on this eye than I do on this one, so I'm just going to add a little bit to this other eye. blend. Okay, now they look even. Now we're going to take a MAC 210 brush and I have some bright blue L'Oreal hip liner. Um, this is the Color Truth Cream Eyeliner in Midnight Blue. I have not used this before. This is brand new. Well, brand new to me. And I can't get the jar open. <laughs> oh, where's my husband? Oh yeah, he's at work. This is where I would usually go, honey, can you open this for me? I got it. I just got it open. Okay. Wow, wait, look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit on our 210 brush. And gotta get the mirror up closer for this. And this is how I do my my gel liner. You don't want to put too much on your brush at one time because it will, um, it can clump or get, get in your eyelashes. So for me, I find it's better just to do a little bit at a time. just keep going over it. The trick is to, um, I don't know if you can hear that, a plane is going over. Um, the trick is to try to do it so that your eyes don't water. Wow, that one went on a lot better. I wonder why. This one doesn't look as dark. Maybe my eye watered on this one. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of blue. <laughs> Between the eyeshadows and the eyeliner. Oh hell, let's just go for it. Let's do the tight line too. Last time I was too chicken and I shot the camera off. Let's let's go for it. I actually find it's better not to touch my eye and try to pull it back. It works a lot better if you just try to get the brush in there. to have the hands of a surgeon to be a good makeup artist. <laughs> I'm 
definitely no expert on the tight line yet. This is going to take some practice to get better at that. Because I've only recently started doing this. And it's, it's really hard to um, get your brush in there. There's a lot more... Um, a lot more watering of the eyes too in this area. Boy, that's a, that's a real sensitive area of your eye. Oops. Okay, now, right on camera, for the first time ever, <laughs> we're going to try the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. This is the first time I've ever used this, so you're going to find out my opinion live and on camera. <laughs> Oh, incidentally, the um, L'Oreal Everpure Leave-In Conditioner, hated it. I used that um, today, and uh, it made my hair um, all tangly. I, tried, I, I put some of that in my hair, and then I tried, took like a wide-toothed uh, wide comb to try to like work it in a little bit, and it was all tangles and stuff. That does not happen with the Garnier. And my hair came out all frizzy, and it definitely um, not not good stuff. <laughs> I like the Garnier's better, but I think I'm, I am going to try some other brands too to see if I can find the best one. All right, here we go with the mascara. Um, first impression, it's okay. I think that Maybelline one that I used yesterday was way better. The uh, Maybelline one and only that I tried for the first time. This is okay though. You know, it's not a bad mascara, but it's not, not blowing me away or anything. It's not clumping. Okay, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. I give it a, I give it a B, <laughs> and I give the L'Oreal one by one an A. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Cause see, I'm going over it and over it, and it's not clumping at all. And it is coating the, the lashes nicely. Um, I'm going to go uh, flat eye in my hair, and I'll be right back. Okay, and there's what it looks like with my hair down. Um, okay, and I wanted to show you those two pictures. Um, one picture is a picture of me and my mom uh, when I graduated from high school, and the other one is a picture of me and my dad. First I'll show you, let's see now. 
Um, how am I gonna do this? You know what? I probably move should move the camera. Yeah, that's what I'll do. There we go. Okay, focus camera, focus. So this is me and my mom when I graduated from high school. And as you can see, I don't really look all that different. I look basically the same, except my hair's a little bit darker there. It's more of a, uh, they used to call that color dirty blonde. When I was a kid, I, I don't know what you'd call it now, light brown, maybe. But anyways, um, so I get my hair color basically from my mom. Uh, she's, she's little. She's five foot two. My dad was tall, though. But anyways, there's, there's me, 33 years ago. And then, um, this is me with my dad. And, uh, something about this picture of him reminds me of Tom Jones. <laughs> but he had jet black hair, my dad. He died a couple years ago. Uh, maybe like three, three years ago. And, um, yep, so that's me, 33 years ago. Graduating from high school. And that's it. <laughs> Bye, you guys.